Hello, today we have Bob Brillen, the co-CEO of Bimergent Energy. Bob, great to have you today. Great to be with you today, thank you. Bimergin has quickly established itself as a player in one of the fastest growing sectors of the energy market, utility scale battery energy storage. What sets you apart from other players in the space? What makes us different is we're not a manufacturer. So we're really focused on the battery energy storage solutions. And in this case, what we're building are battery farms, if you will, or AKA BESS facilities, that's B-E-S-S -S facilities. And these BESS facilities are there to take energy when it's low demand, put it into its system, hold that energy until there's high demand and sell it back at a much higher price. The key part of this as us being different is we also now have $250 million committed from equity project investors. These investors now give us the opportunity to go out and really bring on about a billion dollars in debt for these projects. Why this is important is each 100 megawatts of power that's, that's in say one project is gonna cost us about $125 million to build that and have the batteries in place. This really puts uh, on the land of about 10 to 30 acres, depending on how big the project is. We have two gigawatts of best projects that we acquired back in 2024. That's really got us to where we are today. That's 23 different locations throughout the United States. Now, the demand for electricity is expected to surge, particularly from AI-driven data centers and electrification trends. How is Bimergent positioned to capitalize on this massive growth in power demand? You're very correct. The demand for energy is growing at a rapid pace. And the acquisition of these two gigawatts of best projects puts us at the forefront. We also hired Cole Johnson and his team who have been in this business for many, many years. Over 40 to 50% of energy is currently wasted because it's generated at hydroelectric, solar, wind, but yet it's only there when it's needed to be used. We have the battery system that it is then stored when the demand isn't there, but it then it's there to put into the grid when the demand rises. Now, Bob, would you please walk us through how long-term offtake agreements and services like frequency regulation and energy arbitrage create stable, recurring cash flows? Well, this is key for us because we as Brimergent don't want to be in that trading business. We take the conservative approach of bringing offtakers on board, and these are tier one blue chip partners and these are agreements we put in place. We negotiate up front what the floor is and how much capacity they're going to have available from us. So we know exactly what our revenue streams are going to be. And there is an upside to that also if there is very high peak demand. But the off takers are taking that risk. And we, for our shareholders, have de risk it by having a, a, a floor and a, an agreed to amount that will be put into our revenue stream. I like that, Bob. You're the red chip client and you're serving the blue chip clients. Love it. Exactly. Now you've emphasized capital efficiency by securing financing at the project level. How does this strategy minimize risk for shareholders while positioning the company for scalable growth? Well, because these projects are very large projects, for example, one 100 megawatt project will cost about $125 million of equipment to be put in place in construction. And so with that, that enables us to go out and find very high level tier one institutional partners that will be putting up 80 to 90% of that capital. That means our shareholders aren't having to get uh, diluted because that is actual debt. We bring in equity partners, as I talked before, the 250 million that's already been committed. They'll come in and, and absorb the other 10 to 
of the equity piece to make our debt guys really feel comfortable. And that then gives by Mergen, our partners, a piece directly and indirectly of those projects without being diluted. By Mergen's management team brings decades of experience across energy, finance, and capital markets. How does that collective expertise give investors confidence in your ability to execute? Well, as most of us know in the industry, the majority of investors will really bet on the been there, done that management team. And that's what we have in place. We have everywhere from the capital markets experience all the way down to the nuts and bolts of the construction in this battery energy storage solutions facility. In summary, Bob, give us the essential value proposition. Why should investors take an interest in Bimergen right now? Well, Bimergen is unique in that we have all the pieces in place. The $250 million commitment for this equity capital is that last piece of the puzzle that we needed to go out and get operations and construction beginning. We will start that construction of these projects almost immediately, and then operations will be following suit during 2026. And you don't get any closer than this to a ground floor. Uh, the company at this point has been public, but it also has been very quiet on the investor relations scene. Right, right now is the time for us to go out and talk about what we're doing. And it's because we do have that $250 million in place, it means we're going to now go execute. And our plan is to continue to communicate to our investors what the progress is. And then as it makes sense, make sure that we have the investors fully in tuned as we get operational and as we execute. Sounds really good, Bob. Welcome to Redship and thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.